good Sunday morning, everybody. Uh, Dave Ricketts here from Green Assassin Fishing Team, uh, representing lures from Bass Hog Baits, Don Nelson over in Billings, Montana. Uh, forgive this, this is something I printed out real quick. Um, we are working on new art. We're just waiting for the other prints to get back. They'll be a lot more vibrant. However, the good stuff is the Christmas in September. Um, I placed an order with Don Nelson to restock my Green Assassin Fishing Team themed lures, all of which are bass hog baits or um, many of his over the years tried and true uh, lures. So that being said, let's get right to it. Again, David Ricketts with Green Assassin Fishing Team. Find me on YouTube at G period, A period, F period, T, um, or Instagram at Green Assassin Fishing Team, all lowercase, all one word. If there's anything you want, reach out to me. We'll see that it happens. Uh, little note about Bass Hog Baits 40 plus time tournament winner. Uh, 40 years plus in the lore building business. Don is not a lore assembler. He's a lore builder. He's a custom crafter. Sets the hook, pours the lead, lays the weed guard, hand paints, chip resistant powder coat paints, blends colors, um, cuts, ties, and dresses with the skirts and everything. Uh, anything you want custom. If he has something on his line card that you want, Ask for it by name, such as ask for a green assassin, hog collar, jig, orky, uh, buzz bait. If you want the Jersey Devil, which we're going to see today for the first time, we are going to unbox for the first time the Jersey Devil spinner bait um, put together by Don and myself. Um, we came up with a concept to have a scarlet over red with a red and black head. Um, I'm going to be surprised. I left the eye up to Don. I said play around with the colors. You choose. This is a joint effort between him and I. And uh, yeah, well, I can't wait to see that, but it's the latest thing. We were really looking for the mud bug. We were looking for the crawdad, but in a spinner bait, we wanted a, a gold um, blade. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Let's cut this box open. Let's dump it out and see what Don has come up with. Just so anybody knows, yes, they come from Billings, Montana, but Don gets right on your order and he packages tight. Wow, he packages tight. And he gives you the lowest possible priority shipping available. He knows not everybody wants to pay shipping fees. He can't absorb them himself because his cost to make what he's making for you is already so low. The deal is fantastic. This is about a two pound box. It was worth every penny. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. That's a lot of lures. All right, if it fits, it ships. Wow, let's see what we've got. Keep in mind, um, I'm a pro staffer, uh, beta tester for a lot of Don's newest innovations and such, so there are other pro staffers out there. Don Nelson has a pro staff program. If it's something you're interested in, whether you're a weekend fisherman, it doesn't matter. If you're a, a small local tournament, you're a member of a small club, if you actually are on a circuit and you're out there busting it out for the big money, what his program is, is an agreement. You get to order what you want from Don at a deep discount. In trade for the discount, you get, all we ask, or all Don asks, mostly for his pro staff program is promote. Just like what I'm doing here. I'm making sure that Bass Hog Baits is front and center. This isn't a green assassin built thing. That would be misrepresentation. These green assassins are the color scheme and theme based on a concept I had in my mind over a year ago. And what Don Nelson at Bass Hog Baits did was they gave me the product 
that's mine. You're not going to find this reproduced like this anywhere. Don makes me my, my one-off green uh, jig head color. Um, it's a living rubber royal blue over chartreuse silicone. We'll talk about why. But this is just really what everything you see in green and blue is Green Assassin Fishing Team themed Bass Hog Baits products. So let's not be confused. These are all high quality, very sharp, handmade, custom handmade by Don Nelson over at Bass Hog Baits in Billings, Montana. This order was placed today's Sunday. This order was placed, I believe, on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, the day after is when we put together the idea, oh my gosh, these are beautiful. The idea for these um, Jersey Devils, um, these were added to the order a day later. And they were all in the mail by Thursday. Now I'm not saying because everybody orders, everybody's going to get their stuff done in two to three days. But Don starts them that day. Don will start your order. He'll start laying them out, pouring the lid, painting the jig head getting them in the cooker. I, I don't even, I, I'm only saying this because I know I hear him talk about the process, but he's very good, very efficient, gets them out, priority mail to you. So again, if you want to order anything, go to BassHogBaits at AOL.com, find him at BassHogBaits on Facebook, go down his page, look at his line card, look at everything he has to offer. And remember, everything on you see on, you see on his line card, you can order custom colors. That's right, custom colors. Whatever you want, whatever you see on his page, you see something on his page in black and red, but you tell yourself, I would love that lore, but mine has to be yellow and white. Get a hold of him, order yellow and white. Tell him what, what color jig head you want. No setup fees, no minimums. If you want 10 lures, 10 colors, it's 10 lures, 10 colors for the standard cost of that lure plus shipping. No setup fees, no minimums. You want one lure, you get one lure, you're going to pay shipping. You get two lures, you're going to get two lures for the price of that lure and shipping. You want all this, the price of each one individually, the way they would be priced, and shipping. As a pro staffer, don't forget, you're eligible for discounts in trade promotion. You find yourself in the money, make sure Bass Hog Baits is in the background somewhere. If you get a little interview, make sure you suggest that Bass Hog Baits helped you today come through with the win. That's it. Let's get the unboxing here. Getting a drink next. So, first of all, let's start with one of the most prominent lures that I sell the most of because people absolutely love this. This is a Bass Hog Baits 1 8 ounce Porky. It's a living rubber over silicone. It's got a custom painted um, chip resistant paint in the Green Assassin color. Big 3D eyes. Now you'll notice that the tie is up here on the top center of the head. The advantage that that gives in itself is when this thing goes down, with the eye that far back, when you pull it, you can pull it up over cover. It's not out here on the front where it pulls up and gets stuck in cover. It's back here where it'll pull over cover. So it really makes it nice as a rock bouncer, even though this isn't typically known as a rock bouncer. Go to Don's site, take a look at his hog spider, you'll find the rock bouncer. But at the same time, this thing right here, tried and true. Look at the face on that. Look at the face on that with that. It just looks like it's ready to feed a bass. Um, so yeah, that's the one eight ounce porky. Now on the green assassin fishing team lures, just to bring some superiority to this lure over something comparable that you may find at a Cabela's or a Walmart, royal blue. 100% living rubber. This stuff has 50% less buoyancy than the, or more buoyancy than the um, chartreuse, which is silica. In the water on all my lures, that blue wants to float. It rises up, that's why it's on top. 
So if this thing sits on the bottom, any of my lures, the blue comes up. Because it's less buoyant and it goes and it tries to rise, obviously you may not see it to your own eye, but it's going to descend slower than a lure made of all silicone. And because of that, you're in a fish's face a little bit longer. So anyway, let's pull this one out. This is a Green Assassin Fishing Team Porky from the creators of Bass Hog Baits. One eighth ounce. What a thing of beauty. To set that aside. What else do we have here? Let's get into some finesse jigs. Where are they at? I know I ordered them. Ah, nope, 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 nope. They're here. Gosh, she packs everything up tight. Here we go. Wow. Here we have a, a half ounce finesse jig. Big five lot moosehead hook. Blind weedless. It's got the clear weedless. Living rubber over silicone. Look at that fluffy skirt. When these are in the water, they look so angelic because that living rubber on these rise up. And when you pull it, they pop. They come down, you know, like, like it's pushing off. Look at the size of that hook, folks. Look at that thing. That's, that's a hook. Sharp right off the, yeah, I'm snagging my finger. That's exactly, that's exactly what you want. You want a hook when you slide like that and pull back. If it don't have you, you ain't gonna have a fish either. Some people have cheaper hooks. They're bent down when they come out of the machine and they cool or whatever when they're pressed. When you get a bass hog bait, the majority, if not all of them, are razors right across the top. You push, it shouldn't take you much to be snagged on the end of that. Again, Green Assassin Fishing Team, chip resistant powder coat head, big 3D eyes, beautiful skirt. This is a finesse jig. Put your favorite trailer or no trailer, it's up to you. All right, oh, let's get to my favorites. What I'm about to open up here is the smaller of my two spinner baits. These are bass hog baits, hog collars, and they don't get their name just be to be funny. These lures literally live in rubber over silicone. Again, you've got the green assassin fishing team green head with the 3D yellow eyes. You'll notice that a bass hog baits, all of them have the twist at, at the anchor knot. All of them. Don does not give you these with a an open thing where your strings always down here or up here. These are high quality swivels. These use a Colorado hammered blade. This is all by choice from me. When I went into the idea and concept of a bass hog baits lure for the Green Assassin fishing team, just to bring you up to speed, I was looking for a frog, a springtime, summertime frog, looking like it's splashing in. Try to imagine on a beautiful day, good clear water, that splash, you get that blue, you get that green, and of course the frog color, once it's in the water, it looks like that splash in at all times. You throw this against the bank, let it drop in, it's got a nice plop to it, good splash, and then you start popping. Put your favorite little grub tail on the end, a split tail, whatever your pleasure, and the bass will, they will hunt that down. The hog collar, this is, this is similar, same animal. Put a trailer, don't put a trailer, that's up to you. I hardly ever put a trailer on. When this spinner is whipping, my rod tip is feeling it. And I know, I can tell if I got grass on that or weed. But look at, look at how easy, look how easy that wire flexes. Don, over the years, has came up with a concept where he knows, or has figured out, a blade size and action to rod diameter chosen for each weight lure. This thing puts a harmonic out that the fish run down. If you have murky water and you're thinking, okay, I've got to go with shiny and I've got to go with scent and everything, there's still another sensory and it's sound. And this thing, even when they can't see it or smell it, they can run that down. This is going to put a wave out in the water and they stalk it. Everything I throw or every time I throw that, I can get sunfish, crappie, I've had catfish run it down. 
uh, snakehead and largemouth bass. So that's that's the hat. That's the quarter ounce. Um, also available in the larger warrior, the green assassin. This is the larger. This is the half ounce. You see the size comparison. Again. This thing is a motorboat in the water. It is amazing. That line, now with a bass hog baits lure, you go to Walmart, Cabela's, anywhere, you can buy lures. And that lure is gonna last you five or six years. Because, well, if you catch fish with it. If, if you do catch fish with it, it's built very durable and rugged, and more than likely it was a sight shot which gave you one sensory. When you throw a bass hog baits lure, you get multiple sensories. You put a trailer on, put some scent on, or you make them vibrant in color, you have smell and you have sight. When they can't see it, you have the element of sound. This lure, this particular lure, when you sh get a strike, you snag a fish, because of their build and the way they are, you may have to bring this and you may have to tweak it in a little bit because it may take a little beating on that fish. But you're in a little tournament, whatever. You need to land the fish. You need a sharp hook. You need a multi-sensory attractant. This gives you color, brightness. It gives you color. You can put a scent on it. That's your choice. And you have sound. So... These hog collars will have fish run them down. So there you go. That's the hog collar in the half ounce. Now, um, speaking of innovations, we got together and talked about things more stealthy, things more natural. Um, We've developed what we're calling, and this is a short run, we may not go back to it because it was kind of wasteful. We lost a lot of blades, Don did, I should say. When, when he's making these um, anodized looking green blades to which we're dubbing the Elite Series of the same lore, but these are gonna be more, um, by having the blade relatively the same color, you're really mimicking the critter more. So it looks more lively as far as this belongs on the animal to which it's replicating. Um, so anyways, we have these in half ounce and quarter ounce. It's a small limited run. If they have popularity, we may try to find a way to get this green blade more economic to, to produce. The, when I say that, to make eight or 10 of these, whatever he turned out for my order, he may have lost five or six because they just didn't take in the in the powder coat process symmetrically. And Don Don is very meticulous at what he sends out. Hey, truthfully, they're not all identical match. It's just the process. But you're not going to be throwing two side by side, giving a bass something to choose. You'll throw one at a time. You're going to sell one. It's going to go to. Montana, you're going to sell another, it's going to go to Texas. So the, the idea is everything for the most part follows the scope and the nature of the build. But if something is just too far off the mark, Don won't put it in the package. He will not sell it. So there was an attrition of these blades that were strapped simply because not all of them took to the anodizing process. But again, we do have a stock of them. Uh, these are going to be dubbed the uh, Green Assassin Fishing Team Hog Collar Elites. They are just a, a color match and yeah, that anodized looks absolutely beautiful. So we have this also in a half and a quarter. Very limited run. Now, moving on to the last warrior of the Bass Hog Baits family. Let me just be clear. Let's come back here. In the Bass Hog Baits Green Assassin Fishing Team Tight Lines Warriors, 8 ounce Porky. This is the finesse jig, weedless, available in quarter, 3 eighths, and half ounce. This is the half ounce, this is the big one. 3 eighths is the OG, and of course quarter is the junior. But just 
whatever you want. If there's things here you really like, but you want a different color scheme, Bass Hog Baits. Reach out to them, say, hey, I just watched the video. I absolutely love that green assassin, but I'm looking for something orange and red, yellow and white, whatever. And, and Don will make it happen. Here is, all right, let's say it. It's fall. Tis the season. Look at the size of that blade. Look at this buzz bait. This is a ballistic buzz. Um, this is larger than my last run. So I'm just going to have the other one, the uh, ballistic buzz junior. This one's going to probably be the new one going forward. This thing, I don't know if you can hear that. If you can hear it, fish are going to hear it. They're going to run that down. That is an amazing piece. Half ounce, all built to the half ounce specs of the half ounce spinner, but it's been converted by Don to a buzz bait, much heavier rail. Everything is perfect on this thing. So those are the tight lines warriors of the Green Assassin fishing team from one eighth ounce finesse to uh, quarter, three eighths, and half ounce. And then you go into two sizes of a spinner. Then you have the spinner elites, two sizes. And then we have this ballistic buzz. This is going to be the new, um, the new concept, the bigger blade. I have a few of the smaller ones left over. Uh, they sell fast, so when they're gone, this is probably where I'm going to be going forward. So uh, let's get to some of the other goodies. Here's just more of the elites. This is a pack of the greens. Um, let's see what I got here. Here's another pack of the buzz baits. I had to stock up on them. I sell the buzz baits like you wouldn't believe. They just they they run out of the box. These are more of my half ounce um, spinners. The uh, hall caller, green assassin. This is this is based off of his Bewitcher. If you find it on his line card, um, to be clear, I sell. I, I keep saying I sell more of this and more of this. The truth is, look at this. This is building my stock back up. This isn't a new thing for me. I'm bringing my stock box back up. This is how many I've sold over the past uh, probably month or so. And when I say sold over the past month or so, we're talking running into guys at the, at the pier or something or whatever. But you know what? Let's keep on going. Let's get to the newest and most beautiful thing being added to the Green Assassin team. This is the Jersey Devil. This is a beautiful piece. Now I went out with a gold blade over scarlet chatterbait and I couldn't keep fish off of it. I did really well. So with that in mind that day, I came home and I got on the phone with Don, to which I talked to Don sometimes two, three times a week, but at least once a week. And let me tell you about Don, he's fantastic. He's not only been a great partner in helping me get a product line to go with my brand, but became a real good friend. Um, I can tell you right now, we'd probably be trouble if we were too close together. But we're not, so oh, we'll take what we have out of the deal for phone calls and just cutting up on some stories. But let's get back to this. This is what we came up with. This is a dual blade, a gold hammered Colorado blade on a half ounce custom two tone with that beautiful big red eye. Don chose a red eye. I didn't know what he was gonna do. I left that to him. Don ordered these skirts specifically after we discussed what I was hoping to do, something with that mud bug. I wanted the crawdad, and man, I'm telling you, people, just take a look at this thing. That is a beautiful, beautiful piece. This is the Jersey Devil. Bass Hog Baits Dual Blade Hog Collar in the Jersey Devil. Hand painted, two tone paint, 3D set eye. Uh, I think there's maybe two or three skirt colors twisted in here. 
just come up from this orange and black and gold all the way down to this black. So, um, yeah, beautiful piece. Thank you, Don. That is a home run. Jersey Devil, right now, in a half ounce, uh, depending on popularity and how well it does in the water, that thing may go to a quarter and a half ounce with a dual blade, just like it is. I may stick with just a half ounce. Um, beautiful. All right. Now, what I'm about to show you next is specifically, specifically a Don Nelson innovation. He's been doing this stuff for over 40 years, folks. He's been doing this for over 40 years, and he always tries to come up with the next edge. 30 years ago, as you'll find on his webpage, he developed a lore that never came to fruition called the Hog Stalker. It was a balsa wood head, it was a skirt, and a drop down hook. So it worked as a top water. Now I have one, I just don't have it in here. I'm not gonna lie, it's outside in my truck on a rod and I use it. And twice that's landed a largemouth bass on the first cast, two different ponds. So it is effective. You put your favorite trailer on it, rig it 100% weedless. Uh, when you pull it, it runs like a twist tail. When you stop it, it sags down. And it just sits there like a built-in bobber. Custom colors, um, whatever you want, they'll make it. That's You'll find it on his page. That's called the Hog Stalker. What I'm going to show you right now is something that Don, Don took that Hog Stalker to the next level. And what I'm going to show you is exciting for several reasons. These are from the concept of the hog stalker, Don has taken these plugs. It's a it's a poly plug. It's got pass through ports. It's got a pull right down in the middle. This one here, with its convex face, will be a popper. So that is a popper. Big, big hook. It's got your 100% um, weedless style trailer screw here. Pull it across, make it 100% weedless. So when you pull this one, you have a dangling thing with this bloop, bloop. You'll get this pop like a hula popper. But when you're not popping, it's going to sag straight down and it's going to hang just like that. And that skirt's just going to be blocking everything from the top. That fish is only going to want to come here and grab that trailer. This one's going to have a popper effect. No need for eyes. It's a it's a 360 degree lure, so that wouldn't be relevant. Not to mention when it's in the water and the skirts up, they don't see that anyhow. This one is going to be a hog glider. This one here, it's more streamlined in the nose. Still has the pass through ports. It's going to be a little bit more stealthy and quiet. It's going to represent more of maybe a slithering snake, you put the right trailer on. Again, it's all set up for a secured, 100% weedless rigging. But just like the popper style, when you're pulling it, it's got, this one's gonna have a glide, but at rest, it's gonna rest and the skirt's gonna block anything from above, leaving nothing but that trailer dangling down. That's gonna be a thing of beauty. These are lures that have theoretically their own built-in bobber. You want to go and get the kids interested in fishing? You have one of these in the box. They look like something your son or daughter is going to want to be the one to throw. They just look like it. Now I'm not saying these are for children, but I'm simply saying they can be inspiring for a kid to be like, Dad, let me have the orange one. Dad, let me have the green one. These may be available in many more colors. I just know Don sent me a green because he followed my green assassin fishing team and then he sent me some skirting from the Jersey Devil because again it's just another innovation going toward my brand excuse me my brand so there you have it 
glider, the popper. It could be fantastic for anybody on the right day. Flip this up under some cover, pop it out from underneath an overhanging tree. But either of them, I mean, they just, either of them. But again, you want to get the kids involved. These are the kind of things that the children will think is a, is a bit of a, a toy. It'll go along with the novelty that their youthful minds are thinking of. So it could be a win-win. It could be the start. And like anything, once you get a fish on, you're hooked. There's no other word, word to use. I mean, no pun intended, but you're hooked. So we're here at Green Assassin Fishing Team. YouTube me at G period A period F period T, no period, or Green Assassin Fishing Team, all one word on Instagram. Find me at David Ricketts on Facebook. Find Bass Hog Baits on Facebook or go to Bass Hog Baits at AOL.com. Don Nelson is the man. Take anything you want. All right, listen, I'm going to say it right here. I'm going to say it today. I've said it before. But it's, it's promotion time. If you go to Bass Hog Baits and place an order for anything off of Don's line card, if you order these, if you order a spinner, if you order anything from Don's line card, you get to go to Don Nelson today, place an order. Pick a color, pick a theme, pick something that's going to be unique to yourself that you can give it its own name. Today, anytime, place any order you want. Use promo code GAFT and buy any Green Assassin fishing team or now Jersey Devil lore from Don and receive a discount on any one of these along with your order. If you want a Green Assassin fishing team lore like you've seen today, let Don know which one you like between the 1 8 ounce porky quarter, three-eighths, or half-ounce finesse. We have a quarter-ounce hog collar bewitcher spinner. We have a half-ounce hog collar bewitcher spinner. You can talk to Don about his feelings on making more of the elites, which are the color matched. We have the ballistic buzz, and now we have the Jersey Devil by name. This one's in a half-ounce. Place an order with Don, anything you see on his line card, anything you two create, that's your guys' game. You want any of these lures, by name, Green Assassin Fishing Team or Jersey Devil, get a discount on any one using promo code GAFT. Don will know that I sent you, he'll know that it came from this video. Bass Hog Baits, um, they're superior, they're great lures, and I'm telling you, when you reach in your tackle box to get out one of these, you'll know you have it because you'll pull one out and the other will be stuck in your finger. They're that sharp. So you want to make sure that you proceed with caution. When you're using professional grade stuff, they're professional grade for a reason. You want to know why a hundred people join a tournament and every weekend it's the same ten in the final? It's because they got a guy. They have somebody who understands the science and logics of building these moors. When you buy from Bass Hog Baits, you get a guy. You get Don Nelson. 40 years in the lore building business. 40 time tournament winner across the Midwest and upper Midwest using his own stuff since the 1980s. He stood on the front of boats that had fish where they had none on the back of the boat and all the guy could say is when we get to dock, I need to know what you got. And that's where it all began. I mean, and ever since then, his mind is still going, he's still, still being creative. So, Bass Hog Baits. Find him on Facebook. Green Assassin Fishing Team. Here's my Assassin. Here's my flagship logo here. Green Assassin Fishing Team. Um, you want any art done or anything like that? Splendid Art 90, Adam Splenda. He's online all the time. I can share a link. Adam Splenda is a fantastic graphic designer. 
If you have a brand or something and you're looking to bring to art, yeah, talk to him. So here you have it, and that's that's it. So from Green Assassin Fishing Team, representing Bass Hog Baits, thanks for viewing. Sorry it's so winded and so long, but it's exciting, and it's not just for me. I bring this to everyone out there because you can have it too. If you have a concept, if you have an idea, this is where you can get it done. Thanks for watching.